Um, so I wanted to add a, a few uh, interesting things connected to the previous class I gave on um, the the Bisrut Nashim Tzidkaniot, the were redeemed thanks to the righteous women, and how it corresponds to, um, I mean, it's seen the change or the greatness of the female energy and the power woman into the first and the second temple. Um, we see that in the first temple, um, sorry, in the second, first and second temple, the, the, the woman courtyard was here and it was kind of separated, you know, so like two sections. Um, as if, you know, you have like the heart and the brain. So you have the heart and the brain, um, male and female. And in the second, in the third temple, as described by, this is a book called Secret of the Future Temple by Mishkan Elion from the Maharam Chal, he shows how really the female, the outer courtier, the Ezat Nashim, is all around the male. Um, so before it was like a rectangle, like that, and then now it's a square. Um, so it's a square and as if now there's a perfect symmetry, meaning that the man and the woman energy, male female energy, have become completely one. Um, so, so we can see the change already of the energy through the structure of the temple. Now, what's interesting? Um, what's interesting is that he says like that, the Ramchal. The other courtyard corresponds to the woman, woman's courtyard uh, of the first and second temple. temple. However, it, it differs in that it encompasses both the temple building and the inner courtyard. Whereas in the earlier temples, the entire woman's courtyard was situated to the east, like we said, of the inner courtyard, called the Azara. Um, so, every detail, you know, I mean, that's the Mishraelion, every detail, every change shows the transformation and the unity that happened between the male and female, between God and the Jewish people. Um, and therefore, we can understand that uh, the third temple correspond to, well, number three is the, 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 the climax of, of what we have achieved, Adam HaShalem. We know the Bes Amikdash correspond to the human being. So we're talking also as Adam Shalem. Um, so what we see is, you know, I don't know really how to explain it, but just like just like the body surrounds the soul, right? Here we have the woman surrounding the man. The one of the reason the woman goes around the man seven times under the chupa is uh, at least by Ashkenaz is because she was helped protecting the man from the seven spheroid from the outside to protect the the seven spheroid in of the inside and she creates a kind of wall around so we see that this this wall represents that the square around uh you know the the the, the 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 temple i mean the main part of the temple represents that unity that has been created um Now, look also what, what, for very interesting what it says. Um, so in the outer courtyard stand four rectangular three stories building or chambers, each of which is as long as the temple building and half as wide. Two stand in the western section and the outer courtyard on either side of the temple building, while the other two extend... Okay, that's not so important. Um, this is what I want to read. These buildings, these buildings which are designated for the eating of sacrificial portion will be a most imposing site as will be the, the elevated path, paved gallery running along the north, east and south walls of the outer courtyard on the inside. 
there are 30 cham chambers in, on this gallery. So what is fascinating is that it's telling us that, that you have that whole section of eating, meaning where that was dedicated for eating. And as we explained in the previous uh, class that one of the main role of the woman is to prepare food for the husband uh, representing that love um, and that that she's giving to her husband um, doesn't mean she has to be cook again <laughs> but it's to explain that that form of love that she giving so this is this is represented by that on top of that in the four corners of the outer courtyard stand four chambers reminiscent of the chambers of the Nazarites, wood, lepers, and oils in the four corners of the women's courtyard uh, in the first and second temple. So we see that the whole thing of taking care of people who, you know, lepers who are sick, the wood meaning uh, has to do with cooking and keeping the fire going on, and the oils, and we say that Nashim Titkanyot, you know, they were anointing themselves or their husband to to be able to mate with them and create more love and unity it's a uh, part of that concept um in the structure of the temple right we're supposed to learn from the structure of the of the of the besamikdash of the mishkan and from that structure we learn how we're supposed to function as um husband and wife as male and female uh, separately and within ourselves so this is uh, one of the things we can use also to start lear learning more about our male and female energy is to understand the male and female things happening in the Besamikdash now let's remember also that you had the Kwanim, Levim and Is Israel the Kwanim and Levim are the male and female. One Kwanim corresponds to Chesed and, and Levim to Gvura, which Chesed is male and Levim female is the Gvura. Um, what do the Levim they do? They sing and they help the Kwanim, right? So that's as a woman, she sings, right? She talks, she she makes brings beauty and harmony, and she uh, helps the husband with. Uh, with the barbecue <laughs> um, that the Kwanim do and the sacrifice they help the husband in, in, in helping Israel, helping the world, helping people outside the house um, you know, do teshuva and come close to God and um, And that, right, they are helping the, the husband, like they, the living assist the coin to take care of every individual who comes to do teshuva and come close to God. So that's, uh, you know, just a few more ideas that I thought was worth um, mentioning. And um, I hope it uh, was not too, too slow. Sorry if uh, it was a bit uh, slow and not uh, flowing.